Shoo! Duck shoes are almost here, ladies and gentlemen. July 14th, these bad boys are gonna be available. We've got two different variations, okay? You got the sick ones I'm wearing right here, the gray, the cash, but listen, it's what's under the hood that matters. Look at the camouflage right there. And if you wanna be styling, well, I don't know which one's in which. If you wanna be styling, this one's for you. This one, look at that wrapping paper, custom ducks wrap. Listen, doing it big out here, folks. These guys, old school camo, ready to rock and roll. If you wanna let everybody know that you are a hunter, you love camo, you wanna look good, this one's for you. Or again, you wanna go a little bit more casual, you get these bad boys, the gray ones. So these are available on July 14th, and they're only $49.99. That's right, only $49.99. It's crazy, I couldn't believe it either. So finally, the shoes are dropping. Get excited, duckswaterfowl.com, July 14th. Be ready, they're gonna sell out fast. Once they are gone, they are gone. You guys stay tuned. It's literally a, it's a weed eater. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We are spending the day off. Well, these guys are in need of a new door. Papa Beefcake, Beefcake Construction. Got some new doors built out of the reclaimed cabin. I know, all you haters out there that said we didn't use the wood for the cabin. Listen, two years later, and we're still using it. What do you think? Uh, everything looks new. Really? Yeah. yeah. What's up with these sheep? No, they're Big Mama. She kills it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cookies and cream and Big Mama. She's She's got to figure it out. But we got these. These are beefcake doors. I don't think anything can get through these. Um, the eyes that are hinges, um, yeah, they are 4x4 four four posts. Thank goodness. Okay, that's that gives me a little yeah. bit of hope here. Um, so we're going to replace these doors. The reason why is because Milk Toast Construction built these. And, and you see that gap right there? Yeah, that's why we've lost like 16 quail. Uh, they're getting out right there. So we're like, let's build some new doors. Doors that actually fit. Doors that don't look like milk toast they're actually gonna look kind of cool it's kind of like a rustic little uh little barn door so we got to take these doors off and get these two new doors put on it we bought some i mean pretty heavy duty hinges i hope these work they're heavier duty than the other ones huh Maybe that's, that's why, why they didn't working hold the door you don't like that why'd you get so shorties i bet they came they came with that we we ain't buy them little nubs no that definitely is, that definitely does not help I bet we built it that that one first, and then we used our own over there, which is why they're not as small. So, anyways, these suckers weigh like 100 pounds, but they're huge. They are beefy. I hope these hinges. We got three hinges instead of two, and these are heavier duty. I really, really hope they fit, and I really hope that they hold it, because otherwise, if as as we're cutting these doors off, if, they, if these doors don't work, then we're kind of kind of screwed. But we want to make it nice and easy. You come in, you open the door. These guys, they're pretty close. We're only probably a week or two away from letting these guys out to kind of pasture and scratch around. And then you guys saw in the last episode. We set up the new chicken coop. Look at these guys. They're, we haven't lost one yet. No KOs yet on these bad boys. Look at them. They're hanging out. We come in here. They're roosting on this sucker. Mama, it's going to be all right, Mama. It's going to be all right, I promise. Over these guys. right. These guys right here been hanging out. They've been scratching. Oh, oh, hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. We got. We might have a problem. We're missing a chicken. Really? Wasn't there nine? Look at the blood. Oh, my. How did... Are you serious? You're telling me he pulled it out of the Yeah, so, okay, holes? so we knew this was going to happen, so we intentionally put the roosting poles further back because they originally were here. Oh, yeah, no, he's dead. He got pulled through the holes with what? the trap right there. Oh, there's another dog proof over there. We put two. There's fresh, I mean, that is fresh blood. We're going to have to get some chicken wire, not like the thin chicken wire that we use on the other one. Yeah. You were here to protect. What the hell happened? Well, I was going to say these guys are ready to pasture, but sheesh, we might have to wait a couple days. They just almost got KO'd. Dude, I can't believe that. We had a rabbit living in here for two years and nothing ever touched it. I mean, let's be honest. How dumb is the chicken, though? Like, he didn't yeah. see the raccoon sneaking up on him? I Why is he sleeping in the corner? Yeah, like, run over there. Go on the, like, you, if you go, if they go in the middle, I promise no raccoons can get in. Oh, my. I cannot believe that, dude. Yeah. I can't believe that. Okay, so we need to we need to bulletproof this sucker. How can we do that? How can we bolt? This is a problem. That's a oh yeah, oh yeah she's gone. That thing's gone. She yeah. she gone. That's a wing. Got, I can't believe I that. I thought the wow. the raccoon trap would work. Like I said, the only reason why I'm confident in this structure is we had a rabbit in here for two years and raccoon never got in it. And that rabbit's got to be the easiest thing to capture or go after. So, okay. So, besides doors, we have to figure out how to bulletproof. Oh, my. I cannot. One night. One night. And we put traps out. I cannot believe it. So, we have to figure out a way to bulletproof this thing. So, the raccoons can't reach their hand in there. We almost need to build, like, a secondary. We need to put the electric fence. The problem is I don't think I could complete the circuit uh, because we would have to go in and around that pen. Oh, gosh. Dang it, dude. It never ends out here, dude. It never 
freaking ends. So, okay, if we put chi just normal chicken wire on the inside, though, because the raccoons can chew through chicken wire, yeah. but see how this is, this is on the outside. This would act as the fence. This stuff that we're using, that we're taking off, put this it over guy. there. This is why banjo saving you saving money. This is banjo. That's a first. Ban so you're saying use the materials yeah. from the door. I mean, hell, we could probably use the door. We just, just stick the door. Just stick the door. Like, stick well, the door the against it. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Zip tie it and stuff. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe that, dude. Yeah, I know. It makes me want. You know what it makes you know me want to do? It makes me want to get like a roll of like razor wire that they have like at the top of prisons and like put it around that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Try to get it now, buddy. You know what's yeah. Crazy though is those chickens were over there. It never got touched. Like, never got touched. I know. Perfect. I know. And we put them in this and they get smoked in day one. With traps out fresh. We put those traps out last night. Fresh. That's we're that's operation protect these chickens. It's gonna we're gonna u hopefully use this. That's a good idea because that stuff's this stuff's bullet. We know the raccoons can't get through this. That's double layer protection. So it'll be triple layer protection. So we gotta do we push it in so there's something for the the birds don't get out? So pull it down and then maybe flip it like up on its, you know what I mean? Anyone on? Okay. All right. Well, let's get the new door on. Watch yourself, Banjo. Oh yeah, all right, we got one down. And now we got our new raccoon preventer door that we gotta use for the chickens. Shoo, we got the two doors on. We uh. Well, we put the hinges on the same side, which it works. Otherwise, we had it opening that way and that way, but it all works the same. We got her, we got her working. So door number one, just like that. Bingo. Lock them quail up. We ain't letting them out. It's a little snug up there. We can always, we can always trim a little bit off. How's this door looking? Look at that. This one's good. Oh yeah. Big old door, huh? That's a bone. Were you eating lunch down here? Yeah, chicken that, was, wings, that, was, that was my chicken bone, yeah. Uh, so anyways, doors are done. We decided, I don't know if we're gonna use Banjo's repurpose idea. Uh, I think we might be better off. Well, I, I know I hate boarding it up like that because one, you can't see, see, you can't see and it restricts the airflow, but then they also die. So we were thinking about putting a board out, maybe not even a full sheet like this. We go just rip it down a little bit. In the winter, it'd be good. What is wrong with you guys? Why don't you tell your friend to not sleep next to the corner? We could rip it to like here uh, and just put a trim board across it and then we we'll have to put a trim board up there. I don't know, I think it's probably smarter to do this. Should we bring your door over and just see what it looks like? Is it, I mean. I can see in. I know, I, I like, like that, that so part, much yeah. better. I just, I'm still just. I like that. Yeah. Do you think that would, I mean, that should do it. Why wouldn't that work? Like some uh, wire it a couple times here. Yeah, wire yeah. It up here, wire it at the bottom board. I mean, how could they get in that? Because they like, can't, we know they can't get through this. I mean, because you could just zip tie it so it's yeah. even more flush like that. So then, I mean, there's no, that's they're three gonna, layers of protection. I'm up here and, and, and be able, well, and be able to reach down. And be able, yeah. and be able to reach down. I like this better. I like yeah. this better. I say we just zip tie it like that. That's three layers of protection. We know they can't get through this. Yes, they can get through chicken wire, but the chicken wire, they can't get their paw through chicken wire. So they would have to reach in here, rip this out, and then rip all the way through, right? That'd be, have, that'd be very tough. Well, the only way they can get through chicken wire is to chew it, but they can't get yeah, through true. it because of this. Yeah, true. True. And we'll like so we'll put a cage trap. So when he comes in, we'll get him. We'll freaking kill this sucker. It's 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 now personal, okay? Normally we trap raccoons, it's like, oh, it's preventative. No, 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 no. This is freaking war. We are not gonna lose against these raccoons. So alright, well, we'll set that guy up there, get him set up, and then maybe on this side, what do you think on this side? On that other door, we could stand it up right here. Move our water to the other side or something. And then just put a piece of wood on the door. Put a piece of wood right there. That would probably work. That'd be as good as we can get, so. All right, anyways, let's get this sucker bulletproofed. All right, Operation Bulletproof the Chicken Coop. Complete. Well, bulletproof's a stretch, but uh, we got a new trap out there, cage trap, so if he wounds the corner. Look at, look at, you got a little butterfly in your head right there. Is it pretty? Yeah, yeah, it looks it's nice. Like How's that? It smells sweet, doesn't it? I didn't think they would come and mess with these chickens. Like I said, we had a rabbit in here for years, never had any issues whatsoever, but now it's just like piece it together as good as we possibly can to try to get, I mean, like, I just can't believe the raccoons come up here. The only thing is these sheep are not doing their job. I guarantee you if this coop was over there next to Ralphie, it wouldn't have happened. So we might have to kick the sheep out. The sheep may not be uh, enough, I mean, you tell me that thing don't protect? 
it ain't protecting much but we got the trap done this thing's on screwed on there tight so you i mean they have three layers of wire two of which they can't chew through and they shouldn't be able to really reach through too much and we've got a piece of wood that's going to hold this tarp down so they can't crawl up under it then over here we've got a sheet of plywood and over here you got a sheet of plywood so it should be i mean they can reach their hand in here so if a chicken sleeps there i don't know what to tell them they need to learn to not be dumb i mean i don't i there's not really anything else i can do or say to help these guys they can't they just you guys need to do better don't die so we've got eight left tomorrow will be the what tells us what what's going to happen but today's episode actually has nothing to do with the farm animals it just so happened that we were putting it <laughs> <laughs> they were putting in two new doors and we realized a chicken died. But what we do have is a package up at the shop with a brand new motor from Amazon. I bought the cheapest motor that you could possibly get on Amazon, an outboard motor. It's basically a weed eater with a prop on it. So we're going to go up, set it up, and we're going to take it out to the duck pond, the 17-acre lake, and rip it around. You guys stay tuned. Sure, that's her and all her glory, though. Amazon's cheapest outboard motor that we're going to be putting to the test today. This thing's like three pounds. Like, it's nothing. There's no way it's going to push us around in a boat, no. right? How many, I think it was, was it two or three horsepower, I think? I mean, what's our, what's our, our tiller is like a 45 pound thrust. What's that to horsepower? Anyone know that? Yeah, that's a great uh, question. Do you, do you take chemistry or no? Banjo's right a big thrust guy. You don't know Probably the conversion? My yeah, last he's a big thrust guy. Yeah, that's what I, I was Those thinking. Thrust. Do you know what the equivalent to 45 pound thrust trolling motor is to horsepower for outboard? That didn't sound like English, did it? No. no. Is, is there a conversion for that? Probably not. No. I'm trying don't. to figure out how much horsepower our 45 pound thrust trolling motor has. Maybe like one or two. That'd be my guess. Yeah, one or, one or two. One or so this should hopefully have more. Three. Hopefully. I think it has three. I'd have to go look at it. Yeah, go ahead and cut her open. This thing's definitely straight from China. Oh, it's it's 0. 0.5 horsepower. Oh, so we're, we're going to be better than we were. Yeah. Yeah. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Half, half oh, so this is 6X. Yeah. If it's three. Yeah. So we're good. We're going to fly? Oh, it's, 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 a, it's a weed it eater with a prop. Like it's a literal <laughs> weed eater with a prop. Oh, it's already yeah. Oh, yeah. Together. Oh, it's like a little tiller. Thank goodness. I didn't really want to put it together today. You got to just make sure she... It's literally a... It's a weed eater. That's hilarious looking. That's I wonder if you could take a weed eater and convert it. You think you get a little, you think a little kid? It looks like my freaking Echo weed eater right up there. Yeah, it does. Oh my, dude, it's a literal <laughs> weed eater. Like it is. That is hilarious. It's so funny looking. It's that a two stroke. Funny. Look how small the prop is on that thing. Well, I'm, glad it's, I'm glad it's together. I'm, I'm glad I really didn't want to. I didn't really want to deal with that. This will work. I bet enough. How heavy is that sucker? Yeah, that heavy. <laughs> it's a weed eater. I hope like, it's I have... hope it's the deal, cause man, that is so much more convenient than an actual can't motor. Weed eat with this yeah. There you go. I hope it sounds just like. Oh, a it's weed gonna. Whacker. It's definitely gonna sound just like a weed whacker. There we go. There you go. Got it. You're in one. Hey, give her a push. Yeah, you're in. You're in. Yeah, what's what's the ratio? Twenty-five to one. Do we have any 25 to 1 on hand? Yeah, that sounds like a area. weird that sounds like a weird ratio. Oh, we do have 30 to 1. You close throw that it's in close it? enough. Yeah. It'd be alright. So it's 20 25 to 1 would be more oil than 30 to 1? Yeah. No, it would that would be more the more fuel. That's, that's, more, gas. that's more gas. Yeah, the higher the number though. The more gas. The more gas. Yeah. So it'd be exactly. we need we need more so oil more than oil. 30 to 1. So this thing just put a, a little splash. Oil, just put a little 31 is close enough, put a little splash of oil on it. You'd be alright. Alright, you let me know when. Perfect. Okay. Good. Good. Now you, you know you got it. I believe in you. Prime so, it. Yep. It says prime it until you start seeing it. Oh, oh, nice. oh there's. You don't oh, need that. that. That's yeah, still there. That. Hey, oh, that's working. There you go. Yep. It says until you get all the all the, the total, lines full. Until it's visually noticed. Yes. I mean it's there. That's it. I'm impressed that it like came together and works like out yeah. the box. That for I, I'm gonna check how much this actually was. It was, like I, it, was it was cheap. Yeah. Two hundred and sixty nine dollars. Wow. Does this come with it? This, oh, okay. So this is a four horsepower. Oh. That's and they have a power. three horsepower that's two hundred and forty dollars. So I got the four horse. Oh. So this is eight times. So we should fly. We should fly with yeah. this. Is up on plane. Yeah, we should fly. All right. Well, motor works. We're gonna jump in the in the truck and head to the lake. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> 
relish. Shoo! We made it to the duck farm, folks. That's a, that's a nice lake. Well, we brought the old 16-footer. Um, well, because four of us probably shouldn't go into a, the only 10-footer. Plus, if this motor blows up, then we're not paddling back and stuff like that. So we can actually get around with something. If, we, if that thing blows up, we brought back up. So we are going to launch the old 16-footer in the lake. Then we put the 10-footer out there with the new motor. We're going to test it out. It's the only lake we really have that we could, I mean, really open her up. Like, the backyard pond is, like, decent size. But if this thing flies the way I think it flies, oh, yeah, we need the cranking battery back there. That's the plan. We're going to see how fast we can go. We'll have a little speedometer, and we'll see. I don't know. I feel like I might have discovered something that you guys maybe at home could utilize the fact this thing is like 250 dollars it wow <coughs> voice just cracked your puberty 250 bucks and we can potentially go what eight times as fast as our little tilling trolling motor and, and honestly for probably about the same price i bet the price of the trolling motor with a battery is probably the same as our weed eater so that's pretty much the plan. We're gonna get this in the water and then get the other boat in the water and we will be uh hopefully giving her well we're not really giving her a dangle we'll be giving her a dangle you guys stay tuned wow she's laying it down Yep. All right. Oh yeah. Get the old ten footer going, banjo. It's just right here. The old pan. The old pancake sliver. Yeah, go for it. I know. I'm gonna drive. Watch yourself. Go ahead. Yeah. Easy launch, buddy. Look at that. You're leaking, you're leaking. Oh, what's going on here? This thing is just spew I mean, I'm covered in gas right now. <laughs> you are. Oh, all my fuel lines came off. Hang on. Uh -oh. Come on, buddy. You got it. I'm not sure about this dude here. Why is it so slow? It's slow. Yeah. It's loud. Yeah, you can't hear nothing. What? All right, boys. Well, we're on the water. He saw. I mean, she runs. We gotta figure out how fast she goes. Banjo, there's also flying carpet in here. You think this thing might get them all horny? It's pretty. It's the loudest wow. engine I think money can buy. Yeah, your audio isn't great with this sucker, but I fixed the fuel line issue. We should be good there. Time to see how fast this baby will go. She runs, but five miles an hour is what it's stock. We're gonna try tricking it out a little bit, but I mean, it works. Five miles an hour is faster than you can get with a, a 45 pound thrust troll motor. You think if you got a bigger prop, bigger prop. I wonder if you could fit a bigger prop on it. Can you tune these suckers up? You know what I mean? Like bore them out or. Weed eater motor. Can you, you folks at home, can you tune up a weed eater? I mean, most people don't try to make that sucker fly, but in our case, wow, dude, it's windy. Yeah, we're taking we're, a little we're bit gonna, of water. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be sailing. All right, we're gonna go to the truck. I wanna see if we can get this thing propped up just a little bit. Basically, like when you're when you're driving a boat, you get up on pad, you just bump the trim tab up. It'll basically raise the, the motor out of the water, creating less drag and just put the prop in the water. And you, you'll, I mean, I've gained four or five miles an hour doing that. Now that's on like a big, big boat. If we can get, you know, mile mile an hour or two faster, I feel like it'd be worth it. So let's go back to the truck. Beefcake boat repair crew. Look at these guys. Look at NASCAR crew. Shoo! Banjo found a wrench. We're in business. Somebody's tighten that. Can I, can I put this down? Well, before? should we move this thing first then? Does this whole pin come out or how's it? I, I want to be able to get it up. Yeah. yeah. So we could go shallower now, right? Or is, what's stopping us? Well, I mean, we want it as high out of the water as possible. Slide her down. I'd just do it all the way. Because we tighten it with this, right? Yeah. Let's 
here she looks like now. Tune this sucker up. Though. Yeah. Take we gotta take her back. You guys, you guys gotta comment down below. How do you tune up a motor like that? Six miles an hour is not bad. That's faster than you can legally go on most lakes in Nebraska. That is true. Most is lakes in really? Nebraska are, are no wake. So technically you'd be you'd be breaking the law with a weed eater. Alright, who's up? Sure. Banjo's yeah. excited. Sure. Well, figured we can go pretty fast. Banjo, you'd probably go faster than me, Banjo. Let's see, I wanna see you go freaking lightning McQueen on this bad boy. Alright, we're going. Ban look at Banjo, he's good. I haven't seen it from this. I like this POV a lot. <laughs> it, kind of funny. Look at it, it looks funny. Though. It looks Shoot. hilarious when you're going. You put, you put her in full choke all the way out. Oh, You'll okay. be all right. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Choking, oh, God. you got it. Yeah. It locks. The throttle locks. What? The throttle locks. Well, You'll figure it out. Okay. See it? I love this looks hilarious. I haven't seen it from here. Look at that thing. Woo! Man, just getting it. I like this thing. We need like four of them. Yeah. Just, this versus Dude, we need to get four of them and enter a bass tournament and we all show up with those. Could you imagine how pissed all the old heads would be if you oh God, up yeah. the John Boat tourney and that? Dude, thing? yeah. If you guys think we should all get get four of these setups and we show up to a bass boat tournament, like a serious Van Dam tournament. And we all just pull up looking like that. Yeah. I love it. How fast are you going? I want to see if Banjo can get faster than me. He's he's known for speed, so we'll see how this goes. This is great though. I think I think we should enter a fishing tournament with this sucker. Five even? What'd he get? Five six. Five six? Five six? I got five nine. I guess, I, I guess somehow I got 5.9 on that. Sure. All right, who's up? Pull, pull it, you up? I can go. Then you can beat old 5.9. I think if I you try. you get your long arm, I get the sit in the middle I, and on start at the island, and All I think right. you'll be in business. Yeah. All right, pull it, You got to beat 5.6. Right. I'll see what I can do. Can we make this thing quieter or no? Yeah. He's going fast. I got six. Six? Really? He's sitting in the middle. He's sat in yeah. the middle. I think that makes a difference. All right, we'll go back to the island, Jake. You, you got to beat six. I'll try. I got five nine. Baby got five six. But I think it was the weight because I was sitting forward too. Yeah. Really? Trying to get. Well, I was trying to get that nose down a little bit because I think you're just you're just plowing. So, oh, uh, we got uh, six miles an hour. I feel like ain't too bad. So we'll see if Jake can beat it. Oh, yeah. All right. Who's driving this? Ty? Yeah, he's got I got it. six flat. Six flat, huh? Uh, really? Yeah, six flat. You gotta hit reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah six so flat. I hit reset. Flat. I yeah. beat you by point one. Point one. It looked like fast, I was going fast. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you were fine. Right, yeah. I don't know why. But anyway, six miles an hour is pretty darn fast for this sucker. So anyways, well, we'll take the sucker back to the ramp. Hand on the game. We are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the road. They think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Put on the gas. 
I do not care if I crash, long as I stick to the plan. What is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you, long as I know who I am. I'm in control, God got his hand on my soul. And if I land and he got the remote, made it as far as a miracle, miracle. Anything less is cynical, cynical. <laughs> That's all she's got. Yeah, well, I figured out it's only going about half throttle. So oh. I think the throttle cable might be not doing too hot. But besides that, I mean, it did, it broke a little bit. It still runs. Oh, I'm but we made it back to the ramp. Well, there you have it, folks. The old weed eater special, $269 Amazon motor. Does, in fact, work uh, besides the throttle, which I think that's a little easy thing. It's just a little throttle cable action. Just this, Probably this little doohickey. I think that's what he does or something. So, anyways, this little doohickey got six miles an hour. I would say if you guys have a Johnny and you want to go a little faster than what just a little trolling motor can do, I would recommend it. It's a little loud. You might need ear pro from time to time. Overall, I was impressed. Are you impressed, Banjo? Yeah. No. You weren't that impressed because you got it after it was broken. Tandem. I was very impressed. Ooh, tandem. I bet we could. I don't know. We have to work on the throttle thing. How do, can you get both of them to throttle at the well, same time? These are stuck, so you just turn them on. Just, crank, just crank them and go. If you guys want to see us put two of these bad boys on the 10-footer and see how fast it goes, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And also, let us know, can you tune these suckers up? Can you make the weed eater go any faster? I have no idea. I was pretty impressed. If you guys like this kind of video, let us know in the comment section down below. I appreciate the view. We will catch you on the next one. And peace.